Hello everyone, I'm Super Mutant Mocha Lover, joined here with my Super Mutant Cat, Binky, who is very tired. But, right now, we are going to take out the Yakima Nation and decide what the future of this campaign will be very, very soon. So, let's do River Fleet next. We are running out of things to research right now. I'm waiting for my soldiers to get up to the north and then we shall quickly dismantle the Yakima Nation. So, three, two, one... Good enough for me. Now, we just went to war and I waited to see if waiting to go to war would produce a shorter war justification against these guys. And it has not. That is disappointing. But, for this campaign, of course I want to take Yakima Nation. At the very least, I want to take out the Broken Coast, New Victoria, and the Dredgers. I want to go to war with all of those fellas. So, in order to do that... Um, it's going to take some time for me to get rid of all these guys. So, uh, are these guys connected at all? It does not appear to be so. You're connected right here, but there's no connection right here. And there's no connection right here, which is unfortunate, but whatever. So, furthermore... Oh, I didn't realize that that was connected. Okay, well, whatever. Anyways, um, so with this campaign, I end on having this campaign finish within the next few days. This might be the second last episode. This might be the third last episode. We'll see what happens concerning Northwest North America. Because I definitely, definitely want to take them out. And we're not done with our focus tree just yet. So let's do some raiding culture. So, many of our younger warriors have taken a liking to waging war upon the rivers. The first has made a point of encouraging them to further feats of bravery. Now, even though I said that I still want to take out most of Northwest North America... We still have a lot of the wasteland still alive. Now, that being said, it has been suggested to me that maybe I should do a time lapse of me just taking everyone out. Now, that's going to take a lot of time for me, but that's okay. Um, I'll figure out what's going to happen. I'll probably do a time lapse of me trying to take out everyone. We'll see what happens. Obviously, I'll know what happens before all of you, but that's okay. So, regardless, we are still, we are still here today having a good old time with Yakima Nation, and they've lost a thousand guys compared to our 167. That doesn't look good. So, you come back up north. You guys a little bit of political power. I don't really want to lose stability. But for more resources, that isn't bad. Eh, let's do it. Alright, let time go on. Honestly, this stuff really isn't super interesting. It's not really super important. Uh, you guys, though, I hope you are moving maybe a little bit... More quickly to Imna? Imnaha? Okay, never mind. The bias royalty was annexed. Very good. Very, very good. So, if that's the case, let's get our soldiers stationed up north. And frankly, it doesn't really m m matter. 160 days. Let's go ahead and start justifying on you guys. Oh, we need more political power. 185 days. That's actually not too bad. So, their waters ways here. And most of the army shall be placed on the right here. So, you guys come over here. We'll do that. And... Oh! Wait a second. I wasn't... Am I not justifying on these guys? I am not. And that's okay. So, actually, instead, I'm going to position you guys, like, right here. And I'm going to position the rest of you guys right there. Like that. Let's speed up time right now, because we want to get to our war justification as soon as possible. So, the army knows what to do. It's only 50 divisions of super mutants, so it's not like it's a ton. Uh, elite super mutant battle groups. They are our coast guards who are looking pretty nice. Pretty darn nice. We got 17 things of coast guards. Super mutant gunners. We can get rid of those bad boys. Super mutant behemoths. Anything I throw on here will lower their armor, and I don't like that. Because right now they got a lot of breakthrough. A lot of soft attack, and I don't really want to hurt their armor or piercing abilities. So, and super mutant battle groups, four out of five. They're not bad either. Their breakthrough isn't very good at all, but they do come up with a ton of soft attack. So, uh, slightly less piercing, almost a negligent amount of piercing goes down, but you get more breakthrough, a little bit more breakthrough, more defense, a little more soft attack, hard attack, recon, which I think could prove to be very, very, very useful uh, here. Let's get some coach guns, because why not? Now let's take a quick look at our navy. So we got six ships in res reserve. Oh. 
We have one battle cruiser here. Let's start splitting this group up a little bit. Give me four of you, and then one, two. Is that good? Can I not? Okay. Well, that's the way it's going to be then. So we've got six, two battle cruisers, and seven screens. That's not bad. We have a ballista now on our ships. So that's very good. Let's get a catapult. Why not? This is actually not too bad, and letting them have them. Give them time to repair. That's also a very good idea. So, Briggs. Briggs. These are our capital ships. Long range optics. That would be good. That would be good. Even though I need more naval XP to do that. Gosh dang it. Ah, uh, that takes a while. Let's zoom in so that time speeds up just by a little bit. As. Ooh, we create more divisions. But before we do that, Briggs. Capital ships. Happy 2282, everyone. Hope you're having a good, good, good year. Let's do that first. Uh, just let time go on. Oh, Briggs. Briggs. Let's get Briggs marked to... Oh, didn't mean to do it like that, but okay, whatever. Convoys come to the bottom. We do need some more water, which isn't good. Let's come to the sixes. You do this, and then... Oh, actually, you need to be in infinite, because you're marked two. Your schooner holds. You're one. You're one. So another brig mark two. Thank you. Cool. Raiding culture. So let's go with river giants. Yeah. Oh, no, let's do the Red River. The defeat of the men and women of Klamath is known to those in the far south for the river after which the town was named runs red with blood and bobbing bodies pitched into the stream after an unceremonious slaughter of the civilian population. Glorious. Speed up down a little bit. We got a few more super mutant battle group members. 20 combat width. Not bad. If I throw you over here, you guys are over there. That's okay. I don't mind doing that for now. Go ahead and train. You guys need a little bit more training. That was for the NCR just in case. But the NCR, they're not having a good time with ancient people who like to cosplay as ancient people. And the Baron's Republic is still alive for now. Now, then again, if the NCR goes to war with me right now, I probably won't do very well with them. Baron's Republic isn't doing very well. The NCR has quite a few thousand manpower. But, uh, yeah, these guys got a lot more. Do I have planes? Holy cow, gliders. Uh, this does take quite a bit more man, uh, super mutant power. But if we put ourselves in planes, that could prove to the humans that we aren't the big dumbs. We have the ability to fly as well. And where are they coming from? I would have put them all the way in Oregon. Uh, are you... You're not even ready yet. No wonder you haven't moved yet. There you are. Let's put you up. You guys come over here. No, you guys come over there. Put you down here. Put you over there. Do that type of stuff. Uh, what are we building? I really haven't focused very much at all on building anything in this campaign. Do that. We might need a little... Maybe not need more infrastructure right here. Actually, this is actually doing very, very well. These battalions... They got double... Do they have double demo companies on those bad boys? They might have double de... Oh, wait, no. No, they have one demo company and one battalion of demo companies. That's interesting. But, fairly smart, actually. Hmm. What would happen if I replaced one of these guys with a demo company? We would lose organization, HP, recovery rate, reconnaissance, take more supply, we lose more heart attack. We'd get slightly more soft to take a little bit more breakthrough, but I think right now, I think we're okay. River fleet. Oh, a river fleet and a trebuchet. All right, we're all done with naval stuff for the most part. We can't do this because we need civiliz We need to be civilized for that, huh? Interesting. Anything else here? Of course. Doggos. Oh, we have more naval XP. That is good, good, good. Briggs, I can probably upgrade you a little bit further. I would definitely don't mind a lower speed if I can have oh, more reliability. 
more range, less speed, more light attack, more heavy attack. Plus 2% isn't that much, really, to be honest with you. Less supply use, I'm not going to use that. Uh, this gives you more torpedo attack. Lowers your speed by a little bit. Mm, I'm not really using these to ram into enemies, probably. Sails. Heavy deck weaponry. We already have that. M messenger seagulls. Is there anything else we can do here? Oh, change these to heavy deck weaponry, then. Oh, but we can't, because... Naval XP. That's right. Cool. The, honestly, that looks pretty good to me. Brig Mark 3s. You didn't even do anything. One, two. Let time go on. That'd be nice. Yeah, that should be pretty good. Ah, the Red River. Very good. So, Mariposa Reborn to the north lies a massive underground complex known as Vault 6 with its technology and some of the FEV from Trollworn. Pittman believes that he can recreate Mariposa. It will require the removal of the body of some Washington Brotherhood, but who are they to stand before the super mutant race? And we get all these benefits. And we get a lot of elite support, which is fine. It will remove Pittman, like, 1, 2, and 3, so instead of having three separate national spirits, it's all into one, which would be great. Zappa, Zappa, Bone Picks. Uh, there's Pittman 1. There you go. Daily Elite Support. Are we producing anything that we don't need or have problems with? We need more water. That is not good. We're building a lot of this stuff up. We could build more naval dockyards, but do I really need that? I can really just continue improving infrastructure so we can build more resources, get rid of our deficit of water. If anything, I suppose I could build a naval dockyard because we could probably use those. But other than that, I think we're doing pretty darn well. Four over here. If supply, throw in another two. I don't like... I, I like Bone Snow. He's good enough on the attack, but... Supply consumption-wise, he's a little... He likes to take a lot of supply. And we're almost ready to go to war anyway, so that's good. And actually, before we do that... Another battle cruiser. I need you guys to stop training. I need you to repair immediately. We can go to North Coover. Nice. I need you to do convoy raiding here. Go ahead and abort, but... Go ahead and go back. I just want them to have the, the opportunities to do whatever they need to do. We will attack immediately. Uh, frankly, you know what? It's probably just a waste of me not doing this earlier, but whatever. Let's go ahead and do it. Do the deed. Breaking in the conquered. They got a lot of manpower. We have a little bit less than them. We have probably well, close-ish to the same amount of divisions. We got catapults now. Nice. Ah, Navy stuff is all done. I usually can never say that. I guess we'll get some gliders next. And we've defeated most of their divisions initially. We've lost one guy in exchange for 226 pesky little humans. Their capital is right there. Um, please, get the capital. Nice. Can they stand up to us? No. Glorious. More divisions? I should really move you up. Throw you over here. San Rafael. Good. 19 Coast Guard Divisions. We have taken the capital. Good. Um. You took... S oh. Okay. Enclave is still alive. So that ended the war between the NCR and Kaiser's Legion. That... W I never see that happen. Why did they wipe peace out, basically? What went on? They just wanted the Scorpion's Lands? Um. Enclave? Oh, good luck. Baron's Republic, good luck. New Victoria declared one broken coast as well. It sounds like I'm getting invaded and... Where are you? Um, see, this is exactly why I made super mutant defenders on the ports. Oh, crap. I missed one. I was training my ships for too long. Where are my ships? Go, go, go. I don't want to get navally invaded. No, they navally invaded me. God dang it. Um, come over here, I guess. I can always deploy some soldiers if needed. What are you guys doing? Well, it's always super important to get rid of these guys. Uh, they left or something? 
They, they must have immediately left. Alright, so we've engaged the enemy fleet with my three battle cruisers, and they went bye-bye. Cool. How was the army doing? We're doing very well. They can't hold us back, which is really good. I went to war with the dredgers at the same time. Or, wait. Wait a second, what? New Victoria. I'm not justifying on you. Oh, crud. 125 days, that's not too bad. That's really not too bad whatsoever. Okay, you guys, I need you to maybe step it up a notch, perhaps? Barry Invader. You guys. You all. Oh, you guys are training. Well, you probably don't need to train anymore. Um, if anything, I guess I'll throw you around here, seeing as these guys are jerks. Take the port. They'll starve off soon enough. Uh, ships. Ah, oh, both of you are doing so. Awesome! Mardibosa Rabon. So, Pitman Tor, part of the armor-clad normals, guarding the entrance to Vault 6 once again, proving that super mutants are the next step in human evolution, the true children of the apocalypse. Vault 6 was home to advanced technology and unthinkable experiments, all buried beneath hardened lava and ash. Now it belongs to us. Rowdy mutants jeer at each other as they tip over barrels of forced evolutionary virus, filling the rusted halls with the sickly green glow. This time, the master's vision will be fulfilled. The age of super mutants has dawned. Beautiful. New Mariposa is here. I'm surprised I don't have that as a core yet. But okay then. A worthy foe, Marluk converts. Those sound like fun. Industry, which was worthless now. Let's go ahead and get ready for war. In order to be ready for the wars that will come, we must learn how to construct the workshops and armories of our smaller cousins so that we might maintain a steady flow of armaments. You guys are still doing stuff. Do one there. Good, 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 good. Schooners, keep producing schooners. Those are important. Good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. We lost a canoe. Uh, go ahead and repair. You probably don't even need to do that. Uh, we probably just lost another ship, too. Just go ahead and repair. Ah, train mongrels! I love the train mongrels. If I have nothing else to build... Oh, they take water. God dang it. We will get goggles. Good. How long is this war going to last? It shouldn't last that long. They don't have that many divisions, but then again, we get cock-blocked by New Victoria. Seriously. Good, just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And just go and smash these guys. There you go. These guys, take them all out. Get a little land bridge going. Have a good little time. Uh, are you guys moving? Are you guys even moving? You came back down there. That's good. Uh, planes. Ooh, ships. Yeah, you're going to need at least level 3 stuff. Top room build everything. If that's the case, planes should all be attached. Yeah, you're all attached to armies, which is good. Which is very, very good. Come on, behemoths. I need you to move faster than this. I know you're big. I know you're hunky. But you must move faster. Blackjack strong back. Give them hell. Losses. Pretty good amount. So how far away, how close are we to justifying against these guys? They're not that strong. Dredgers. Wait, New Victoria has volunteers from Dredgers. Alright, we got a trebuchet. We got well, less than 100 days until we go to war with them, which is fine. We could use that time to do other stuff. A uh, scout kit? Sure, we got the army XP to bonus. We get a bonus from that. Earl's Cove, very nice. Just take you, you're a little weaker. Do that. And they died immediately. Immediately. Kaiser's Legion declare war New Vegas. Interesting, interesting. Encourage weapon production. Mobilize the people. Well, I don't think I'm going to get too many more cores. So let's take a quick look. If I can core New Mariposa. I can, but should I? 13,000. That does not have a lot of manpower there. How much would this... 244, wow. But uh, Port Ma would be a better place. But, you know, I'm going to do... New Mariposa, just because it really should be a core of ours already. 
All right. Nice. So oh. awesome. Ah, oh, we have sunk two enemy ships. Beautiful. I need I need that spot, guys. Let's go. Let's keep going. Keep on trucking. Good. 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 More divisions? Ah, oh, behemoth. Thick daddy behemoth. Is that not the end of them? How much further must we go? We must go... Where's their capital? Ah, oh, Hangman Sound. Right. Can I even get there? Yes, if I move fast enough, we can get there. And you guys need to keep moving. Let them move first. We're going to attack them immediately. I need you guys to move up this way. I need you guys to move up this way. There you go. I need you to go this way. More divisions. Very nice. Ready for war. Yes, we will be. Stockpiling weapons. Ooh. To conquer a foe is to earn the right to all that he has. We bring home the riches of those we defeat. The things they have taken for granted. The objects that they never bothered to use and use them to encourage our own merchants and craftsmen to work even harder. Good. Bone Snarl, you've done a great job though so far. Keep moving, keep moving though. We shall have doggos in the end. Triremes, they're not really worth it. Uh, let's take a quick look at my navy specifically. A couple more ships. There you go. That's another task force we can use. Right there. Good. So you guys are a brig. You guys are repairing. You are a what? Brig? Two brigs. I don't think I made any triremes. You guys are a brig. Cool. So, triremes. Goodbye. Longboat hulls. These guys... Get some armor on them. Get some sails, get some sails. That'll be important. Schooner holes. And the sixes. Just keep letting time go on. And another schooner hole, I guess. Sixes. Very good. Oh, ships. Ooh, we actually took another canoe. Awesome. Yeah, the new Victoria's definitely lost quite a few guys, which is fine with us. Which is more than fine with us. Come on. Just give them a little bit more push. That doing force attack cost me 30, 20, 35 stuff. Cool. Uh, new Victoria, you did great. I'm not going to bother to give you anything just because I have to invade you anyways. Thank you for playing. Cool. Get the main army. Assume the position. You guys, assume the position as well. And then we will go to war with New Victoria. Everyone, go ahead and repair. Ah, gliders. Finally. And I can't do anything else with that. Aerial warfare. Rating efficiency. Sure. Trained. Training programs. Very nice. Anything over here? Nope. Anything over here? Uh, we can do a few things. Conversion speed and stuff. But whatever. In time, we shall. Aerial warfare. Yes. Yes, please. It looks like we could probably use an airbase over here. Maybe an airbase over here. But we still want to build up our infrastructure. And probably over there as well. Good. We're almost done finishing building up some naval dockyards. Alright, there goes Mexico. They are on fire still. Planes, gliders, we could make those. I suppose if we can make like that many. In the end... We're going to have a lot of factories. Going to guarantee you, we're going to have a lot of factories. Go ahead. Uh, you know what? We don't need to put any more on here. Three's good enough. Destroyers. Beautiful. So many capital ships now. Uh, actually, Schooner Hull Mark IIs. How long would that take to upgrade, you guys? 19 days. Uh, go ahead and do it. Why not? Cool. And we've been building more and more. 
Uh, schooners, you are not my capital ships, which is good and fine with me. Oh, let's get some ballistas on these bad boys. Nice. I keep changing up the template, so it, I keep screwing up my guys. That's okay. They're meant to be screwed up. No, not still these. Sixes. One, two, two, one more. Nice. Let's pause it real quick. Sixes coming down here. Awesome. Brigs are doing well for now. I will upgrade them soon, however. Um, let's immediately begin justifying on New Victoria, at least. Yeah, that's going to take a while. So, uh, Army, are you ready to go? They look pretty good. Behemoths are always, of course, ready to go. Supply there isn't very good, though. Global warming. Hmm. That does not sound good. Did I not give you orders? It might help if I give you orders. Cool. Next up. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, do this. The process of laying stone after stone is often considered to be agonizing. Thankfully, that work is below a true mutant. Of course. Naturally. Uh, we're doing pretty well. We need to make some doggos. We don't win in every situation, and that's okay. Sometimes it's just not very favorable. And that's why instead we look to the super mutant behemoths for answers. Besides, the main thing is to get over here, Prince George, which is the most important thing. 65 losses. Overall, we're still winning very well. Do we have any upgrades? Ooh, Luster. Infantry expert. Good. You guys, not really. And you guys are just kind of a spare army, just in case I really need you. But let's go ahead and begin planning uh, the invasion. Tribal scout kits. Very good. If we can take that, that would be great. If we can do this as well. Come from Coover to take out the tile that's surrounding that port. And then from Rhombus Island to Roche. Sounds good to me. Pioneer kits? Sure, why the heck not? Not even going to use them, but we'll do it anyways. Um, ships, you're doing a great job. With that all. Mark 3s, screw it. Let's do it. Uh, go right ahead, I suppose. This is probably honestly not worth it at all. But that's okay. That's okay. There you go. Ooh, divisions? Ah, some more super mutant groups. Let's go ahead and fill out this army. You two, come over here. The behemoths just... They have a special place in my heart. These giant... Hulking, beautiful behemoths. Mexico is just on fire again and again and again, and I love it. Ooh, Kaisar is having a little bit of difficulty with New Vegas. Oh, but New Vegas is out of manpower, naturally. NCR still hasn't won their war. The Enclave are actually coming back and beating them up. Are they? Are you at war with the? No, you're at war with the Enclave. Not even the NCR. What the heck? Ooh. Refitting. Cool. Good. Oh, there's a little bit of lag. What's going on? Oh, they won! That's kind of scary. Just takes time. Just takes time. How much closer until we're at war with New Victoria? Less than 100 days, which is fine with me. Alright guys, it looks like you came up to where you need to be, but I want more. I want more. And I will raise my conscription level probably by the end of this campaign. Rewards of victory, ready for war. Supplies are doing very, very well. Motorized vehicles. I could use those, but not in the current moment. Anti-tank, support robots, combat robots. No, we don't need that garbage. We don't even know how to program these things or... However you control these things. <clears throat> what a waste. What a waste. Ah, another behemoth. Okay, there they go. What is the strength of New Victoria? They're not that bad. They don't have a lot of divisions. But taking them out will be very fruitful for us. We can only get about 1.35 political power a day. We could get more equipment, but we don't need more equipment. We can force them to make roads. 
Uh, oh, population. Super mutant labor. Super mutant labor is, by and large, less effective than human labor. Yet they are stronger by far and can do the work of half a dozen other lesser cousins when it comes time for heavy lifting. Very good. Very, very good. Let's go ahead and finish off these fellas. These dredgers. Kind of annoying. Not gonna lie, a little bit annoying. I would love it if you guys would all move. Come on. Can we move? I know it's not optimal for everyone to move right now. But I don't care about it being optimal. Right? Bink, my super mutant kitty. Manpower. Good. And it sounds like someone's at my door. Hmm. If that is the case, then I must end the episode here. I will see you all tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you all tomorrow, and I hope you have a great, great super mutant day.